The tropics are unfortunately staying red hot behind Franklin and Idalia. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegas. In this video, we are going to talk about five active storms right now. We still have Franklin. Gert came back from the dead. That's a tropical depression. Hosea tropical storm. Idalia, it's post-tropical, but expected to become another tropical storm again. And then newly named, newly numbered, tropical depression 12. That's way out there in the Atlantic. We're going to break that down. Longer range, though, there does appear to be some kind of threat, though, to the Caribbean and the United States once again. And then at the very end of this video, we're going to give you an update on where we stand. If you do want to stay updated on all things hurricane season, as we venture through the peak, you have to hit subscribe. Also, if you find this content helpful, give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out a lot. We would appreciate that. Here we go. We're going to jump right on in here. This is Franklin. This is Jose. We have Gert in there somewhere. It's really weak. Can't really see the circulation of Idalia. That will likely try to fire back up again in the next couple of days. This X right here is newly numbered. Tropical Depression 12. That is likely to become Katya. But the one on the map here that may mean something way down the road like 10 days plus out is going to be this thing here that is emerging off the coast of Africa. The development zone is in orange here, giving it a moderate chance at this point. But everybody in the Caribbean and then again, unfortunately, the Southeast United States just want to have this in the back of your mind that, of course, as we roll right through the peak of hurricane season, there is a big, juicy wave that is just rolled off of Africa. Taking a look at the African satellite here, this is going to be far over the coast of Africa. We see, number one, the system that is, again, going to be cause for just a little bit of concern. I don't want to say concern, but just something that we should be mindful of over the next 10 days or so. That is it right there. A much better look. A very healthy looking tropical wave. But then right on its heels, an even bigger wave, also low on Africa. What we mean by this is, here's Tropical Depression 12, by the way, northwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. When they come off low like this, they have a much better chance of completing their transatlantic trip rather than if they come off high like Tropical Depression 12 did, they have a much better shot of just going into no man's land and being a fish storm. A lot going on on the screen. This is what we don't like to see, but we're going to break it down. Don't pay attention to any of these kind of red areas there. There's Jose, there's Franklin, there's what's left of Adalia. Here is number 12. It's this guy right here. This is the Euro rendition, and that spin at the bottom of your screen is what we're going to be watching, and it certainly gets its act together as we move through the Central Atlantic. That is going to be on September 6th. Here, of course, is the Caribbean. Now, the European does keep it north of the Caribbean. And then eventually tries to lift it north of the Turks and Caicos. That's going to be through September 10th, September 11th, the climatological peak of hurricane season. If you take it further out, though, the GFS, like 14 days out, does get it very, very close to Florida. It does get it through the Caribbean, and it does get it through most of the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. So we do not want that scenario at all. There's September 2nd. Again, all the other junk kind of swirling around. We do have to watch... Uh, Bermuda again. This one's likely going to be, Bermuda's likely going to be impacted by uh, by Adalia once it becomes a tropical storm again. So we just got like the outer part of Franklin. Now we're going to get hit with tropical storm Idalia again as we move through the first couple of days of September. So that's the lone swirl of this hodgepodge of junk that's out here in the North Atlantic right now and in the Central Atlantic. Here is that beefy wave that we just took a look at that's going to be rolling off of Africa in the coming days. We're going to be watching that closely because the American GFS does get this into the Caribbean and then has a better potential for it to kind of lift north through the Dominican Republic and Haiti again and then back up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos and then maybe somewhere along the southeast United States. So it has an opportunity. Again, we always need to be very, very mindful when these things come off low on Africa like they do because they have a better chance to miss their route, miss their pathway back out to sea. So we're going to watch that close. Again, keep it right here. We'll keep you updated here over the next week to 10 days, maybe even two weeks again. They take a long time to make their trip across, of course, as they are starting off of Africa. All right, so here's where we stand. We are at September 1st. We are right into the thick of it, the peak of hurricane season. The climatological peak, anyway, is September 10th. We are really in peak season, though, through October. And then that tropical activity 
tends to really drop off as we get into November. We do have a pretty sizable drop for the second half of September, but then we have another little secondary peak, if you will, through October. So that's where we stand in terms of the overall hurricane season. In terms of where we stand energy-wise, this is something known as accumulated cyclone energy or ACE. It's basically a metric here of all the power, all the energy accumulated by all the storms that have developed so far. Now, Franklin really helped to ratchet this up. As was, this was a long-duration major hurricane that helped put our ACE up to 52 for the season. The average to date is 38.7 so we did go behind climatology in terms of the average uh, a few days ago but then with the i guess last week and then franklin just becoming this behemoth storm and then of course idalia becoming uh, a major storm as well that has uh that was the case with that here's where we stand on the names of course franklin became a, becoming a category four hurricane Gert is reborn. It was a tropical storm. It's now a tropical depression. It's likely going to become a tropical storm again in the next couple of days. It's been like a, this ghost swirl through the Atlantic. Of course, we had Harold going to Texas, Idalia becoming a major Category 4 hurricane, uh, Category 3 at landfall. And then, of course, Tropical Storm Jose is just meandering out in the north central Atlantic as well. Next name on the list in Tropical Depression 12 could get this name. That's going to be Katia, and then followed up by Lee, Margo, and Nigel. And again, we may end up seeing these by the time we get towards about September 20th as that wave train off of Africa is really, really cranked up. And as we've seen, at least the western part of the Atlantic Basin has been primed for development. It's been that main development region, but that's certainly where you're getting some very good agreement, some very good, uh, unfortunately, the models are suggesting that we are going to get some tropical development with that bigger wave uh, that's coming low off of Africa at this time. If you have found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up. If you do want to stay updated as we venture through the peak of hurricane season, of course, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that, and we will catch you guys next time.